All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series, run episode number 18. For today, in the last episode, we ended up in Champ 2 Division 4 of 2v2. So we're still working on our placement matches for 3v3 or at 6 out of 10. Sorry, I'm still under the weather, by the way, trying to get better as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully, we can finish some of our standard games. But if we get three or four 3v3s today, we can actually get our rank. But we'll see what happens either way. Before we get into the episode, though, we got to do the meme of the day. And today, we have Danny Locust. This thing is an abomination, but I kind of like it. I'm sorry, Danny. Okay, that's one 3v3 game so far. So maybe this uh, four 3v3 games could actually happen. I'm seeing it okay, so that's a little interesting. I'm gonna get the back left corner here and stay close to the ball. Let's stay with the corner here. I'm seeing a lot of comments, by the way, about people saying that like I'm underestimating or overestimating uh, the ranks. <laughs> I'm seeing people saying underestimating and overestimating the ranks. Uh, it's, it's very interesting to see the opinions of people and how they change. So let Mystic try to stay with this. He's trying to do a little too much there with the ball. Bump this guy. Two players do go. It seems like most of the time, like the ranks, it just seems like a lot of messiness because no one's really clear on where they should be positioning. It's a great shot. I'll stay with this in the corner. I can just keep this to the corner. I'm dead. I think people overestimate their own abilities and un underestimate, um, you know, higher ranks and stuff quite a lot. Let this guy go. He didn't go for it. I'm going to stay for the 50 50 here. Might be an open net. Close. Try and boost outwards towards the ball. You see two, two players did go. So far it's been pretty messy on our corner. Like no one's rotating. Both people are in the back corner. They miss. Like our team definitely is under pressure a lot. Good clear. Oh my goodness. It's a bloodbath out here. Good save. I'm gonna grab this mid boost and then rotate behind. Uh, he's saying okay, but I took the boost. Did he take that corner? Oh, it wasn't there. I'm gonna pop this up off the corner. I thought this guy stole the corner boost, but. Oh. Oh. Oof. Okay, interesting. Wait, this guy just pulled off an insane psycho. <laughs> what the heck was that? That was completely accidental. This is awesome. Thank you. Thanks. So the thing is, Mystic is playing very, very um, uh, sporadically. He tends to cut off the ball a lot. He's going to go for this. And like, yeah, it's a decent touch, but let's go back in the middle. I'm going to let, um, let him go for that. Yep. There it goes. I'm going to get a big clear here, see if he wants to go for it. It's hard to get a read on what he wants to do with the ball. I'll hit this off the corner and see if one of them wants to go for it. Good try. That's a pop off. This is technically like, kind of scary for me to go for. It's a good read from them. Once again, Mystic's trying to make touches that he doesn't need to um, in those positions. Like, he keeps making touches that really could have been easier for me to read if nobody was there. I'm going to pop this around them. It's a little high, though. And there's a the shot. So, honestly, I'm just going to play my game. I'm not really going to listen to all these, like, quick chats. He's definitely, like, pretty upset with certain positions. And I think because he's Season 3 Grand Champion, uh, he thinks he knows better, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go back right here. Nice. This ball's in a good spot for me to go for a clear. Good follow-up. This should be awkward for them in the corner here. It's a good save, though. We're already getting much higher up in the ranks here. It's a good turn. Gotta wait for... Oh, the demo. That's two players. It's going to be them first. Gotta get behind here. Oh, they missed. That's okay, though. Do they do it's clear? I like that fake. Okay, it's fine. I'll wait for him here. I'll this touch. That's a great touch. Might be a shot towards target. A bit of recover. Nice. So right there, I'm baiting out the player to go for a clear. That's going to be definitely one of them to clear it across. You see, I'm already trying to read that and be ahead of the play. Then go for a shot. Good save. And the sooner you can read those and get ahead of the other players, uh, the more often you'll get good chances on the goal. I hit a clear here. I'm going to try and bump this guy. That's definitely the best option there for me. Is to go for a bump. Maybe my teammate can go in. Good try. I see that Mystic has control on the wall here. I'm just going to wait for him to make a shot. Both players get a clear. I can definitely beat this guy. But you got to be, be very careful where you place that when you're third man. I get behind here. Whoa. Okay, one's up. It's off. Now I can stay with this. Okay, we can all stay with it. 
That's a pop around, maybe a pass. It's not a great pass. Let's get trying the follow up though. I see Dax is up for it. Let's go for a backflip here. Let's find that um what is this guy's name? Gabachu? <laughs> Gabachu wants it there. Be able to clear it around him. Get a follow up from my teammate. Way off this bounce here. Just want to beat them. Gabachu. I'm going to get behind here. It's a good save just by backflipping into the side there. Good follow up as well. I'm going to sit on the uh, the middle here because I see that Mystic's on the right rotating. And I want to be ready for any clears. As you can see, once again, Mystic making things very awkward. That's all good. Oh. Oh. You know what? It's zero seconds. Let's go for it. Nice. Um, yeah. I don't want to comment too much on, on Mystic on his positioning, but it was definitely like very, very awkward positioning based on uh, like what he should and shouldn't go for. Probably not having the, the mindfulness to know like where his teammates are, which is totally fine. Um, but it's one of those things where like the, the, the positions where I was getting bumped by him were because he was rotating in an awkward way that I wasn't quite expecting. So if he does that continuously, you'll have teammates in the future who don't really know where he's trying to position and what he's trying to do. And it makes it much more difficult to work with as a teammate. All right. So we're not going to get our rank today in threes because we got a 2v2 game. Uh, we have a season 12 tournament winner in champ and a season 14 tournament winner on my, on my team. So pretty, uh, pretty mainstay champions in this game. Obviously, season 14 is right now. So... He could have just gotten champion, but he did win a tournament. So I would say that's pretty justified in being a, a decent, decently positioned champ on the leaderboard. I saw that there was a potential that Laughing Horse might be on that ball again. So you got to be a little bit careful. I can pop this around him off that wall here. Decent shot. Good clear. Good follow up. I'm going to wait for uh, Lord here. It's a good bump. Both of them jump for it, which is totally fine. Good boost leaves for my teammate. Lord, I'm good, boss. <laughs> I just read his name. <laughs> okay, great pass, but it's once again, we've talked about this in the previous episodes. It's a great pass if nobody on the other team exists, but they exist and they're on the ball, so we got to be very careful. All right, once, you see, once I see this touch, I can go for the challenge. And you can see there, I adjusted my aerial to, to bump the guy after the touch. Now, I use quite a lot of boost to go across this field, so I'm just going to go for the back corner. And I'm going to wait for this final touch here. I knew he was going to try and go for the touch. If he doesn't make a touch, it's not dangerous. So playing playing for that extra touch is all you need to do there. Good try. Like once again, just, you just have to AFK for a little bit and wait for them to make their touches. Because a lot of them can air dribble in this rank. But the thing is that they're not going to make anything threatening if you just play patiently. Most of the time. And I've also talked about this, this before. Oh, he's not going. He turned and kind of confused me a little bit. At that point, he's probably just commit on the ball. All right, it's gonna be a little dangerous. That's a good shot. All right, I'm gonna stay with this here. Sorry, I had to cough. I'm back. I was gonna say that my teammate should have realized that his touch was in a good position for me to follow um, instead of him following it himself. But I noticed that he was trying to cut it, so I just stay with it. I let him do it instead. So good pop off the backboard. It's a good shot. I'll wait behind here. Good force. You can see immediately when when um um oh good. Oh gosh, I gotta cough again. <laughs> <laughs> um when when I can't remember what I was saying there. That was a good bump from the opponent, uh, because like they saw that I was going for the ball again. But when my teammate was challenging there, I need to make sure that I, I cover him. Now, if this ball is awkward for me, I'm going to stay with the ball on the touch here. Don't let it bounce because I'm very low boost. I'm going to still let him come into the challenge. And now I get the boost in middle. I could hear the opponent behind me, so I didn't know I didn't have to stress too much. We could save. But yeah, most of the time people aren't that threatening with their touches. I'll put it off target. Put it to the side here. Good try. It's going to be uh, Bustio Ghibli here. Pop it across here. Try to avoid the bump. Big clears. Let's see what they do with this.
Good challenge. Oh. Pop it up. You can see, I don't want to get dunked there because I'm last man. So I'm going to be very careful not to put myself in a bad position. And right here, I'm trying to stall it in the corner. That's all right. Teammate didn't really trust that I had the control of the ball there, which is totally fine. Probably going to get a double here. Good try. There we go. Let me have the ball, teammate. Thank you. It's over one. Now I have space on this ball. I'm going to try and go for a flick. And there it is. If you get good, good, good control over one player and you have space, getting a setup on top of your car in this position is perfect because he has to challenge me. And the second that I see him coming at me, I'm going to try and get the flick. And it's really, it takes a lot of practice, but getting used to flicking the ball under the net like that is very, very important because it's so easy to sky it if you don't hit it properly. I have time to grab this boost and then turn around this ball immediately. I go for a big clear again. I see this guy pre-jumping. But as you can see, it's not, not the greatest choice because now I have a, a 1v1 against... Uh, the opponent a lot of the times when you hit the ball forward like this you're actually just giving it to the or like hitting it back to your uh the opponent's side you're actually just giving them the chance to put it back towards the net if you watch the most recent rlcs in copenhagen which i just came back home from a lot of the top teams what they're doing better and what's separating them from like, the lower level teams and i'm not even talking like people that didn't make it i'm talking about the teams that were there and are all very very good but the ones that are very 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 good are all like playing that game of like knowing when uh when to allow the ball go to go back to the opponent's side because if you if you give them too many opportunities to hit the ball forward they're gonna make a play that's you know more threatening than if it was just coming to your teammates safely wow it's a good save now i'm bumped towards this one i can probably take this boost and then take this boost from him as well and then my teammate can hopefully make a challenge of some sorts that's a little scary here i can get the read on this touch by driving towards it and that should be the game so one goal off of that flick from the possession and it was a big big mistake from uh the one player that challenged me there to really challenge super early because his teammate was still moving behind and i feel like i was doing a lot that game but at the same time i didn't feel like i was that involved maybe i'm wrong but i felt like my teammate was definitely cutting cutting me off a lot i was just trying to position in a spot that could cover more options for him and we made some good saves as well. I feel like we did make some pretty good saves in waiting for that one play off the backboard. And uh, you can just see that patience really pays off on defense and even on offense too if they're they're going for that. That was a really great bump from there uh, from him. My teammates still had it there as you can see, but it was a good recovery for me just to get back to the ground because we had a lot of boosts there. We tried to get closer to my teammate when he challenged. All right, we got uh, D on our team with Immune Toxin. We got Dangle Bojangle. I love that name. We got 3v3 again. So we should be able to uh, get closer, closer and closer to our, our rank here. And we're getting higher level players each game. I got space here on this ball, so I'm going to try and put, pop it around first. Maybe go for a bump. Whoa. Dude, I love the name. <laughs> I love the name Dangle Bojangles. I think it's so funny. Good block. Looks like one player's not here. Let's see. Uh, wait. You come back. Let's see if they all wait. <laughs> they didn't wait. <laughs> um, I'm going to help them score one back. Maybe he didn't realize his Q popped. No problem. I got really confused for a second there because my goal explosion is different. I was like, I just scored and I thought that mine should have showed up. Is he here? He's still not here. I'll let my teammates uh, 2v2. I never know what to do in these situations because like it's weird. Because like, This is probably the reality of the game is people are AFK once in a while. I'm confused. Shouldn't he be like idling by now? Like, hello? So he's definitely here. He just moved. He's moving. Move again, I dare you. Is this like, is he farming? Is he farming crates or something? Is this like a program where it makes him move? I think he's 
farming rewards. What is happening? Oh! <laughs> what is going on? I don't know if I should report him or, or what. I, I can't. I think he is like actually doing something intentionally. Wait, we're we're voting to forfeit. Maybe you guys know about stuff like this. I've never seen this, obviously, in my games. Yeah, I guess he's not. I guess I should report him. Whoops, I reported the server. Maybe report intentionally idle. Submit. I mean, that is that is a thing to report on. So yeah, I'm gonna say that was definitely on purpose. Cause he's moving like is he mad <laughs> i don't understand i don't understand okay immune toxins not playing now so it's me and him 2v2ing this is uh this has been a game this has certainly been a game i'm gonna wait here great try on the shot there i'll wait for uh bojangles here nice gonna rotate behind my teammate here A decent touch. Oh. Off the corner. Let's see if my teammate can get mid. Oh. Ugh. Get him. Get him. Oh. oh. I thought he died, actually. Oops. All right. Should be back to my... Oh, he's, he's playing. I'm out. Tag team. I guess while they're playing, I'm going to go demo this guy. Where is he? I don't understand what just happened. I think that guy was actually intentionally being idle for maybe items or something or maybe trying to derank. I really don't know. If you guys have any insight on what that what that is, if that's common, uh, then let me know. But I've never seen that before. All right. Well, we actually have a real 2v2 now. Uh, we got Epic Smith on our team. And we do have a teammates who know each other. So uh, they're probably in comms, maybe. Get behind my teammate here. Get the mid boost. I see that Epic's going out for this. I can see that he's winning the ball, too. Oh, my goodness. Now, Fado is probably going to have that. I'm trying to stay close to this ball here. Looks like he's going to challenge. Totally fine. We'll just back out. Get behind my teammate. Good challenge. Good try on the control. All right, good boom as well. I can definitely challenge this if I hit this into the curve. I talked about this in a previous video where when I'm putting that ball into the side there, I'm trying to aim for that ramp. Uh-oh. Hello, ball. <laughs> All right, good flick. He's going to stay with this. Go for a backflip. Now I can stay with the ball here. Avoid the bump by break checking. Big flick should be a save. Oh, never mind. That was a good flick though. Now me break checking there is really important because I would have got bu bumped. Probably not demoed. It's really hard to demo someone up the wall like that. Um, it's also something to, something to keep in mind if you're trying to go for a demo. Uh, that is, you lose a lot of speed off that corner uh, when you go up the ramp. So that 90 degree angle is really going to slow you down. This could be a shot towards target here. Should be a save, hopefully. Good save from Epic Smith. I thought you couldn't put the name Epic in your name. Oh, maybe it's because it's a one. It, let, it lets you. I didn't know that you could do that. I don't know if you knew this, but you can't put the word Epic in your username on Epic Games. But I think that all of their employees have the word Epic in their their username. Hit this off the wall here. Got the corner boost. Now, I'm in a better position than my teammate to take this. It's fine if he wants to control it. It's round one. Decent control. I can wait for him to go into this corner here. And stay close to the ball. I see this guy right here is pretty close to the ball. That's a good coverage from the opponent. Oh, I like the fake. Actually, that backflip was really nice because it actually keeps the ball close to him. Big clear. Timmy didn't really expect that or respect that I was going to go for that, which is fine. He's got to be really careful with his chip, though. Good save. All right, so you can bump him, maybe. Oh, a little scary. 
Going to wait here because Fad has the ball for uh, first before me. Can wait for him to maybe make a challenge. Now, I could race up that wall if I want. I wait on the floor as well. I know the bounce is going to be off the corner a little bit. You see right here, I'm trying to position in a spot where if he gets the flick over him, I'm ready for it. Same with here. I'm trying to get the read early. Awkward ball for my teammate. They end up clearing it down the field, though. Now I get a 50-50. Hopefully my teammate can jump for this. Good save. I see my teammate in the corner, so I'm just trying to read where I'm supposed to position in mid uh, to cover the best options. And now I'm waiting for the flick to come out of uh, subs here. I'm going to let the ball bounce into my corner. Stay really close here. It's a good challenge. Rude. Stay with this here. Great bump. That's going to be putting me in a, in a 1v1 opportunity. That's a great bump from them too. I'm going to try and demo the guy that was coming for the ball. And then get ready for the 50-50. I get this over to my teammate. And back to me. Oh. Uh-oh. We're good. I think my teammate also went for this. It's a little scary. It's off target. I think Smith should have probably secured that boost if he could. But looks like he has enough. I see the opponent grabbing the back corner too, so I'm just gonna grab 40 in mid instead. Waiting for them to do something threatening. Waiting for the ball to spill down to me. Like I said, a lot of people don't have really good control. Oh, this could be in the net. Nice. This is a good play from them. I saw my teammate the last second. He was far wide. I'm not sure what he's trying to position over there for because there's not really anything that is going to come to him in that position. So he probably should be behind me, if anything. But I also could have been a little more, more patient. Now, me doing that is going to get rid of the possession unless I get another 50. That's going to come right to uh, Epic Smith. I'm going to wait behind him. Big clear. It's going to bounce off the corner. I already know the read. Oh, whoops. I missed. Nice save. I already know like where the ball's gonna bounce. Um I was trying to get a clear in the mid there for the opponent or for the teammate uh that was forward. And there's a shot. That that miss actually ended up working okay because uh it went to the other side for Epic Smith to cover. But they really should have probably scored. I'm going to grab this boost so I can get it first. It's going to bounce off the ceiling, which gives them an opportunity to shoot the ball. So I know that. I'm going to hit that to the left side. Hopefully my teammate can go there. And a great finish. So me backflipping that to the left side a little bit gave the opportunity for my teammate to follow it up. It wasn't as close as I wanted it to be. And subs was mid-flip, so it looks like Smith knew he could go for it. I want a cookie. Do it. I dare you. in his hands. I don't know if he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to do it. I'll wait for this bounce in, here, in mid here. And then also for Fado here. Get clear off the wall. The higher you can flip that. <laughs> That's a great shot. I'm losing weight right now. No cookies for me. Oh, man. Either way, GG's. That was a good game. Uh, they played pretty well. They definitely covered each other pretty well. And um, my teammate... Oh, good times. Yeah, I guess because we're talking about cookies. I don't know. Um, everyone covered each other pretty well. And even though I made like a pretty bad misread off that, that one touch, like we didn't get punished for it. So, you know, it doesn't even matter. I mean, you leveled up to uh, to Champ 3, I believe. Champ 3 Division 1. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Bit of a weird one with the AFK player, but uh, let me know what you guys think of that. I don't know if he's... Um, um, I don't know if he, he was like actually farming items or if he's trying to like derank or whatever. Um, either way. Catch you in the next one. Oh no! I couldn't type at the end. Oh, that was nice. The way Danny's looking at this, uh, he knows something 
very heinous is about to happen. I think I need to get rid of his hat, but I don't know how I'm going to blend his head a little bit. I, I guess we're just going to go like this and just see what happens. Well, the thing is, like, these are eyes, so I feel like I, these need to be up there, but I don't know. I regret this. I seriously regret this. Like, I think I need to, like, stretch him out a little bit. Uh, okay. So maybe go, like... <laughs> Uh, maybe like that. <laughs> I mean, that even ain't that bad, to be honest. I think I'm pretty happy with that already. It was a pretty easy one, but I enjoyed it.